Hi, welcome to Heathcote School and today I'm going to look at the history department and things that you'll be studying when you first come here. So in year seven we first look at medicine through time where we look at how medicine and understanding of medicine has changed from the prehistoric times up until present day. Then we look at the Battle of Hastings followed by medieval Africa and we look at some of the great African kingdoms such as Mali and Ghana and we're going to look at and explore what made them so great. Then we're going to look at the Black Death, followed by Islamic World, where again we're going to look at some of the, the Islamic Empire and look at what made the Empire so great also. Then we're going to look at the Tudors and we're going to look at some of the key religious, religious changes that happened in England. Then in Year 8 you can look at key revolutions and you're going to look at the English Civil War and the French Revolution, followed by the British Empire, where we look at the causes and the consequences of the British Empire and we're going to explore how historians should view the British Empire. Then we're going to look at the slave trade, we're going to look at the causes and the reasons for why it ended. And then we're going to look at the Civil Rights Movement and we're going to look at how following from the slave trade, we're going to look at the experiences of the emancipated slaves and then we're going to look at how experiences change in Britain, looking from the, uh, the sea riots in the 1920s up until the bus boycott in the 1960s. So we're going to explore a variety of different things of the civil rights movement in Britain and also compare to America. Then we're going to look at migration through time, where we're going to look at how, why people have migrated to the UK, all the way from the Romans. We're going to explore the Ivy ivory bangle lady and we're going to look at you know, the key people who have moved here the vikings the romans all the way up to the huguenots um, all the way up to present day then in year nine we're going to look at world war one and two followed by the holocaust and then the suffragettes and then we're going to look at the conflict in the middle east and we're going to explore why israel was created um, following the second world war and finally, we're going to look at the from asylum to community care, which is what I'm going to talk you through in our activity, which is, this is the inquiry question that we do for this unit, which is how far do we agree that the induction of pharmaceutical drugs was the reason that asylums closed down? So asylums were very common in England, especially in the 1700s and 1800s. However, in the 1900s, they all started to close down. Now, many people say different things as to why they closed down. Some say they were too expensive to run. And some people say that there was social changes and social attitudes that were changing, saying that we should treat people with mental illness better. And some people also say that it was the introduction of drugs that allowed people to be treated within the community rather than being hidden away. So then what I'm going to ask you to do now is do an activity. So this activity here is a painting which is titled William Hogarth, A Scene in Bedlam. Now Bedlam is the hospital which is actually called Bethlehem Hospital in London, but it was nicknamed Bedlam. And you may have heard the term, oh it's Bedlam in here, it's referring to the old treatment of inmates in the asylum. So what I want you to do at this painting then is I want you to write down five things that you can see from this painting. Then I want you to think about what does this painting tell us about people's understanding of mental illness in the 1700s and then finally I want you to think about what does this painting tell us about what you think people at the time thought caused mental illness. So it's a right as a very big challenge there. So I want you to pause the video here whilst you have a little go. And once you've done that, I'm going to run through some of the things that you may have found. So if we start from this side, we can see somebody is praying. We can see that it's very chaotic and unorganised. Um, we can see particularly this interval here. He's got some very poor treatment. He's chained and he's being held down and restrained. We can also see a, a big absence of medical staff. And we know in hospitals, in any hospitals, there'll be nurses wandering around, doctors, um, doing their duties. However, here there isn't any. It's almost like the people who are living in the asylum are running it themselves. We can see here someone who looks very sad and depressed, which is a very sad reality of asylums as you could be put in an asylum for just being sad, which we know is a very natural, normal feeling. Um, and also having anxiety, you could be locked away. And finally, something that I really want to point your attention to is these figures here. We can see two ladies, both rich ladies, and they are, they are tourists. 
they have come around just to view and amuse themselves and be disgusted by people with mental illness. And that really shows us how really shocking attitudes were towards mental illness, as if there was something wrong with them and someone to be, something to be laughed at. Well, anyway, thank you so much for joining me at History and I hope to see you soon.